Hello everyone, this is Creative Fun back again with another video and uh, as you can see we're in the AJS 37 Vegan and as you also can see by the title you see that in uh, this video we're going to have a look at how to defeat SAM missiles. Now overall the best strategy to defeating a SAM missile is ducking behind hills and mountains, uh, basically devoiding the missile of line of sight. Uh, usually that is enough to for a missile to lose track, either IR or radar missile. So if you have hills uh, or mountainous terrain where you can just uh, duck behind when a missile is being launched on you, uh, do that. Uh, for all other circumstances, i.e. if you're flying over flat terrain or over open sea and you're launched upon by a SAM missile, um, you're going to need some tactics. Uh, you're going to need uh, to practice to avoid missiles. You're going to need to rely on countermeasures. You're going to need to rely on information about how the missile works and its limitations. Uh, so, and also how the Vigan works and its own limitations. So, uh, as a format for this missile mission, we are going to uh, uh, do a seed mission against an SA-8 in Kutaisi City. And for our eagle-eyed viewers, you'll notice this is the exact same mission I flew with the Harrier a little while back ago. The SA-8 might not be the most advanced or most powerful weapon currently in the DCS arsenal of Russian SAMs. However, uh, it, is, it was developed uh, during the early 1970s and late 1980s, which is coincidentally the same time the Vigan was developed and produced. So it's a very era-specific weapon for the Vigan to engage and to defend against. Uh, to help me with this mission, I have um, equipped myself with two RB-75T, which is the Maverick missile with heavy warhead, as well as two countermeasure pods. Now you can go with either two countermeasure pods or one countermeasure pod and one uh, radar jammer. I went with the double countermeasure pods because it gives me effectively twice the amount of uh, shaft and flare that is being released uh, in each interval, which I believe is very useful in this case. So before I turn uh, towards our target waypoint, I just want to explain what I'm going to do. Uh, since we're doing this in the format of a seed mission, um, I am going to do a total of three passes towards the target waypoint. The first two will be to uh, have the SAM launch at me, and so I can get a visual fix on exactly where it's located. The ulterior motive of the SAM launching uh, against me is that since we're up against an SA-8, and I know a little bit about it, uh, I know that it carries four missiles and it launches two missiles in each volley. Which means that if I can have it launched at me twice, uh, it will have expanded its armaments and it's very likely that it will be, have to rearm, which means I will have a very nice opportunity to launch my own missile. The Maverick missile can be fired between 10 and 15 kilometers range to our target. Uh, and But the SAM will be able to be launched around 10 to 15 kilometer range to our target. So it's kind of a sweet spot there that we have to manage very carefully. Uh, when we go in to launch the missile, which will be our third run, uh, I'm going to try to be as fast and much higher than before. So let's turn towards our target waypoints here and line ourselves up to get shot at. So as we are turning towards our target waypoint here, I just want to talk a little bit about exactly how we're going to maneuver the Vigan. Now, when you're engaging SAM in flat terrain, uh, the best course of action is to hit the deck and go in the opposite direction of where, uh, or, uh, where the SAM is being launched upon you from. Uh, and uh, going as fast as possible, of course, always helps. Uh, so once we are getting closer here, we're going to have a look out the window basically and see if we can visually locate the area. Once we have confirmed that the missile is being launched upon us, we are going to uh, basically hit the deck and turn the other way around. Okay, good, we've got RVR signal here. So please have a listen to this. Uh, the RVR is a little bit finicky and has a lot of dead zones. Okay, we're being locked up by the radar now, uh, which in the case by its flashing and pulsing sound. So we know that the uh, SAM battery is somewhere around this little airfield here. So we're gonna have a look out here and see if we can locate it. Now I'm flying at around 1,500 meters here, which is a good altitude uh, for us. It means that we hit the deck at a good time. If we're too high, it takes us too long to hit the deck, which means that there is a risk for us not being able to outmaneuver the missile. 
So we're still having a look here. Uh, we know it's around there. We are around 10 kilometers there. And there we have a missile launch. Full off the burner. We're gonna go straight down like this. I'm turning on my shaft and flare, trying not to black out, which is also very important. And we're going the opposite direction of the missile. Very low. We're gonna do a little bit of janky maneuvers here to try to avoid it. We're turning off our shaft and flare because they're not going to be much help right now. We're probably passed outside of its kill range. And once we're around 20 kilometers out, we know that we're safe. So I would say that was a pretty good engagement. We can hear the radar scanning for us here. Um, and also, uh, we obviously defeat missile, otherwise we would have been dead. So it launched around 10 kilometers, uh, which is a little bit late. That makes it more difficult for us to avoid it. Very smart of them. So we're going to take another pass at this and see if we can have it fired us once more. 14 kilometers. Around 12 kilometers. Closing in on 10 kilometers. There we have the launch. Turning on shaft and flare. Doing uh, maneuvers to hit the deck very quickly. Try not to black out. Once we hit the deck, we are going to turn hard left and hard right. Turn off countermeasures. And we're going to turn off the after burner and just glide up to altitude again. Uh, so that was neatly defeated once more. And now I'm going to go into attack mode, ANF. And I'm going to select my uh, RB75s. And now I hope we can take this little bad boy out. Now for this, I'm going to go as fast and a little bit higher than before. And I'm going to aim at firing around 15 kilometers out, which is around the max uh, effective range of the RB75. But with a bit of altitude and speed, we help the RB75 along. So we're going to go straight for a target here. Now it is locking us up. So we are at a fairly decent altitude. We are closing on the 15 kph mark, so we're going to drop down a little bit. Here, still going to speed up and see if we can physically locate the target. They're visually located. Lock on, trigger on safe, fire, and we are going to turn around because we do not need to stick around for it to actually fire on us. So that was a successful attempt at not only avoiding uh, SAM missiles being launched at you, but also to defeat uh, said SAM battery. Now before we finish this video, we're going to jump into TAC view. We're going to have a look at how the missiles flew and how we defeated the missiles. Okay, so we're in TAC view now. And um, for those of you not familiar with TACView, it is basically a separate uh, piece of software you can download for free. You just Google DCS TACView uh, and TAC view, and uh, you'll be able to find it. And what it does is it records the entire flight and all the parameters and units that are in the uh, mission. And it gives you abil the ability to replay it in this type of kind of strategic anal uh, analysis view which is very useful when you want to see how the entire battlefield played out or the entire mission played out from all angles and from all weapons being used. So I'm just pressing play here. We're doing this in real time here. Uh, let's see here. We're coming within uh, range of uh, the SAM. You can see here 12 kilometers and there we have a launch at 12 kilometers and it launches one missile towards me. And then that's the second missile. And you can see my maneuvers here. I'm zoom in a bit and you can see I quickly defeated the missiles actually just by dropping down very low. These missiles are obviously very easily fooled. 
Uh, I'm still releasing some chaff and flare here and I'm doing a bit of janky movements depending on how advanced the missile is and how high it gets before you are able to uh, detect it and go down. These maneuvers can be useful uh, in uh, reducing the energy of the missile and uh, avoiding a direct hit. So we're going to jump forward here and we're going to have a look at our second engagement around here. I'm going to press play again and we're going to have a look at SA8. There it is. And we are at 12 kilometers here and at 12 kilometers once again it launches its weapons. First missile and second missile. And see both missiles are trying to track me here. Now this one is doing a very good job but uh, it's being fooled by the shaft here and it's going way off. Uh, it's still trying to track here, but it's going for the shaft and not going for me, which is down on the ground. So in this case, the shaft and flare I used was obviously very useful. Otherwise, it would have maybe still tracked me here. And uh, yeah, so that's how I defeated the missiles. Uh, fairly, fairly easy. The SA-8 is not a difficult SAM battery to take on. So we're back from TechView. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this was educational and uh, somewhat useful to you. If you like this type of videos, please uh, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, maybe write a comment down below. And if you want to see more videos of uh, this nature, please uh, leave a suggestion in the comments as well. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.